Hey everyone, hope you are doing very well. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at battery packs and we're ultimately going to be putting these to the ultimate RC Explained test. We're gonna throw this on our performance workbench and see exactly what these can put out. We're also gonna be throwing it on the charger, getting internal resistance data and comparing that to what the expected or estimated C rating would be for these types of batteries. These are Liperior 4 thousand milliamp hour 40c packs now it's what's interesting about these packs being 40c is that at 40c this is going to be the lowest amount of c rating that we've tested thus far now we've only tested two battery packs prior to this and both of those battery packs were at least 60c or above however i have a suspicion that these are going to perform better than that and the reason i say that is because these battery packs when placed on the sale are actually coming out to be a little bit heavier than the previous batteries that we have tested. That should suggest to us that these should pack a bigger punch, but it doesn't always work that way and that's why we have to run the tests. So another thing that I would like to point out is that I have changed the structure here on the Patreon website. Instead of just having one tier, I've now introduced a second tier. The second tier that I'm going to introduce on the Patreon website is going to have the name RC Explained Battery Performance Squadron. If you want to become part of that squadron and support the battery tests that we do here on this channel, I'm going to leave a link for you in the description below. What you can expect to find there is everything that is found in tier number one with the addition of a live spreadsheet that is going to contain all the data performance metrics that we measure and publish. Once again, link in the description for that. Let's get started and charge up these battery packs and find out what the internal resistance is for these Liperior 4000 packs. Here we are at the main charging screen here. We're gonna make sure we're on the right profile. We're gonna go and up the current up to six amps. We want to charge at 1.5 C. So 1.5 C multiplied by four amp hour gives us that six amps. We're gonna go and start the charge. We go through the initiation process here and it's going to begin. Now, one of the things that you guys asked me too is what is the temperature that I'm taking these measurements at? Now, this is a picture showing the temperature. It is 22.1 degrees. Generally, what I'm doing is I'm aiming for a tolerance of half a degree, about 22 to 22 and a half degrees. So we skip forward here and we're gonna get our internal resistance measurement. We got the total up on the screen. We're going to go and take a look at the per cell uh, values here. So we got anything ranging from 2.4 all the way to 2.8. That is good. Let's stop the charge and get our second battery here connected. So we'll disconnect that. We'll mark our second battery as number two, and then we'll fire up the charger again to start the charge on this specific battery pack. So once we got the charge going there, we'll be able to get our second measurement. That should zero out on our internal resistance. It just did. Now we're going to skip forward up to the minute marks. This is what you want, a charger that can take the internal resistance approximately about a minute in. If it's anything more than a minute or so, it's going to give you different results. So you wanna try and get as close as you can to that minute. So here we got some similar results, which is really good. I like consistency from pack to pack. That means we're gonna have really good data. We got anything from 2.4 to 2.8, it's a little bit higher. Here's the RC Explained RC Calc Sheet found in tier one on the RC Explained Patreon site. I'm going to use the real LiPo C rating calculator. You can see that there's tons of calculators here on this spreadsheet. We now need to enter information for our LiPo right here. There's only two boxes we need here. 4,000 milliamp hour is the capacity of the Liperior 40C pack. And then we want to enter the internal average resistance of the LiPo battery pack. We are just going to take the average of those two packs and that is 2.58 milliohms. That's the average cell internal resistance of that battery. So this determines that our battery packs calculated C rating is actually 24.6 C instead of the 40 and the maximum continuous current is somewhere around the 98 amp mark. There you have it. Now we know the internal resistance of these battery packs as well as the estimated C rating for these packs. Very interesting because this is actually better than the previous battery packs so far that we have tested. Now let's go ahead and throw them onto 
to the workbench so that we can see exactly how they perform in reality. Here's some data that we were able to capture from this Liperior battery pack test. Let's zoom in to some of this at the top and we wanna come back to this at the end of this section. So the total milliamp hour that we pulled from the battery pack on average between two different runs on two different battery packs was 3420 milliamp hour. The milliamp hour of capacity to 3.50 volts was 1230 milliamp hour and the time to get to that mark was 42.85 seconds. Now the milliamp hour to 3.60 volts, so this is a higher voltage, was 269.5 milliamp hour, and the time to actually achieve that was 9.45 seconds. Both of these are averages between those two batteries. The voltage at the 10 second mark on average was 3.58. The energy per cell in watt minutes was just around 700 watt minutes. And the average cell wattage that we had was 359 watts. If you want the total wattage, you have to multiply this by the six cells that were in our pack. Now the test did have to stop because we did exceed 60 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna show that right here where we did start to exceed it. And what was really interesting about this is that we ended up measuring multiple different locations on the battery. And in different locations, it was giving me different values of temperature, which was really interesting. Closer to the wires, I was getting hotter amounts of temperature and further away from the main leads of the battery, it was much less intense. Temperature. So this is important to note for me for the next time because what's happening here is I'm blowing through the 60 degrees Celsius mark and probably getting more capacity than what is actually possible or true for the 60 Celsius stop point. So in other words, parts of the battery can actually be 64, 65 degrees Celsius when I stop. This is also true of the previous tests that I have done. And of course, as we continue to do this test, we're gonna find better ways to get even better data for us to really understand the specifics of this battery pack. If you guys want me to do an actual C rating test, let me know in the comment section below for this battery pack. Well guys, there you go. These battery packs definitely perform better than I expected, especially since they're rated at a 40C rating. As for are these battery packs good or do they suck? These battery packs I would say are actually quite decent. These are battery packs that I will definitely have a good use for and I'll definitely be pushing them to the limits in a bunch of different radio controlled airplanes that I own. As mentioned earlier, if you do wanna help support the battery pack tests that we do, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and you'll be able to check out the RC Explained Patreon community there. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.